Are you planning a trip to Vietnam? And is one of your stops going to be in Hoi An? Which I really hope it is because there are beautiful things there, but one of the main draws here is having clothes made to order. Now, there's a lot of things to know about getting your own clothes made, so I'm going to go over the things that I learned when I had all my clothes made over there and pass those along to you. When I was in Vietnam, I stayed in Vietnam for about a month traveling from north to south, and one of my highlights I was looking forward to was going to Hoi An and having some clothes made. I'd heard about it and read some blogs about it, and it is overwhelming the number of tailors that is there. Now, there's a number of things that you need to understand and figure out before you start going and seeing some of these tailors. Now, I've got about, what is it, 10 points that I'm going to explain to you, and then you'll be able to have a little bit more, much more understanding of how this process actually works, because normally we're not used to having our clothes custom made for ourselves. So there's a lot more details that I didn't realize that needed to be done um, during the whole process. Now, when you are there, you want to make sure you give yourself a few days uh, to be able to have things made. If it is a little bit more complicated and stuff, you may need to stay there for a little bit longer. So if your trip is only for a day or two, you're probably not going to be able to get it custom made. You can get something maybe off the rack that they have already, and then they can just alter it for you. But if you're wanting something that's done specifically for you, it is going to take some day, some time because it's not only just getting them to do this stuff for you, but it's also figuring out where you're going to go and all those little details. So if you are going to be there for a little bit longer, definitely check this out. Now, the first thing that you want to be aware of and figure out is what you want to have made. Now you can definitely go along and look at all the shops and see what is popular at that time. And you can always get something made that is um, something that's in their windows and stuff like that. You can also bring, if you're traveling with your favorite pair of jeans or a favorite shirt or something like that, you can bring that with you and they can just copy that, which is one of the most easiest things to do um, for these custom tailors. Now, if you are going in there, you want to start probably a Pinterest board of clothes that you want to have made. That's where I started. I started pinning clothes that I found on Pinterest and just wanted them to replicate it from the photo. So have an idea of exactly what you want to have made. Next, you want to look into recommendations of which tailors to go to. Now you can definitely research this by Googling and looking up blogs of people who have done tailoring in Hoi An and who they recommend, what prices they paid and, um, it's so much easier to get those recommendations because not all tailors are built the same uh, and not all prices are the same. So you want to go in there with some knowledge and with some recommendations of people that have previously gone there and you're going to feel a little bit more confident because it is overwhelming the number of tailors there. Number three is you really want to understand and really think about how you want these garments made. Now, it's not only just thinking about, okay, this picture looks great. I want this made. Well, it's now choosing the materials, um, the, all the different types of, um, material as long as <laughs> right down to the buttons. So it's the buttons, where you want the pockets, um, how you want it to fit. So it's a lot of those little details that we don't necessarily think about when we're just shopping off the rack. Number four is, again, piggybacking off number three is this is going to have a lot more decision making for you to do than you think. So it's all those little things. Not only are you choosing the material, the weight, the price point, you're choosing the little details that go onto the garment. You're choosing the colors. If you're getting a suit made, you're, you're deciding on the lining, um, how you want the suit to look. Is it a three button? Is it a one button? Where are the pockets? Do you want pockets? How do you want the collar to be? So there's all those tiny little details and you're going to have to make a lot of decisions in a small amount of time to get everything moving pretty quickly. 
Number five is you want to, when you're looking for recommendations for who to go to as a tailor, also get recommendations on how much they paid for their garments. This way you're going to have a ballpark number to go in with so that you know what the going rate is because they're always going to start off high uh, because if you don't know any better, then they're just going to make more money. So go in there knowing what those ballpark prices are for the types of garments that you are looking for with the types of materials that they used as well. Now, number six is you want to barter. Now, this is a bartering system here for sure. You don't pay the price that they're necessarily going to be starting off with. Now, you can barter a lot harder when you are getting more than one thing made. So the more items that you are getting made, the lower the price can be. Determine where you're going to get it done. I used two different tailors just to see because two of them were recommended. I liked some of the material at one place better than the other for certain things. So I had multiple things done at each place. This way I was able to barter the price down and be able to get everything that I wanted done in the correct amount of time that I had there. Number seven is don't pay until you're satisfied or you probably have to pay up front. I can't remember now. Um, either you put a down payment on there, so you either pay half or you pay the full price before they start the work, but don't take the clothes home with you or away from the shop until you are completely satisfied. The tailoring and the um, alterations are all included in the price. So if something is not fitting right, it's not sitting right on you, if a design element was incorrect, get them to change it. You have to have those fittings. You got to make your time to be able to go in and have those fittings done and you have to stand up for yourself. So if it's not done the way that you want it, speak up or else it's not going to get done and you're going to be dissatisfied with this garment. That happened to me. I did not speak up with some pockets being put on a jacket and I really dis. I really regret not saying anything and getting them to change it, but you live and learn. Number eight is definitely get them to ship the, your clothes home for you. Now, unless you are using them straight away on your trip, get the rest of the things that is going to be made for you, get them to ship it home. It's better than having to lug it around for the rest of your trip. Your suitcase probably isn't going to be big enough and it's a little bit less expensive because you can do it surface and ground and even though it's going to take you a little bit longer to get it back at home you are going to get it and it's just going to be one thing off your plate of having to carry around with you number nine is you want to give a little bit of room in your clothes now this is something that I did not do I had been traveling for quite a while and I had lost quite a lot of weight and so I was had a, a, a slimmer me and when I come home everyone usually tends to gain back some of that weight so the clothes are not necessarily going to fit exactly how you want them when you get home so you want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room to be able to either take those out or just to be able to fit um, if your weight tends to go up and down when you're traveling versus when you're at home so Definitely take that in mind because there are a lot of people that have clothes made abroad when they're traveling and when they're at their at a slimmer weight. And then when they get home, they have a lot of clothes just hanging in their closet that they are not able to use. And lastly, just remember you want to stand your ground of what you're wanting, the material, how you want it made and you want to give yourself enough time. You're going to be going through a consultation first. You're going to be discussing what they have, what you want, um, the materials, and how much it's going to cost. You're going to have, it's going to take a little bit longer than you expect just because of all the different steps that need to be included. So you're first going to be researching, then you're going to be going around and looking to see what's there. Next, you're going to be having consultations with them. Then you're going to be bartering on the price. Then you're going to be deciding all the design details. And then next, you're going to have to come in and 
uh, sit for alterations. And then you're going to have to finalize everything, pay the rest of the bill, get them to mail it home to you. And then you're going to be able to take the stuff that you're wanting to use right away home with you then. It is a wonderful thing to have clothes made for you. They fit wonderfully, uh, but just be aware of those of these tips that I'm giving you so that you have a great experience in Hoi An when you're having clothes made. So I hope this helps you along in your journey for having some beautiful clothes made. I have some great stuff that I still wear and you're able to enjoy that process. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to drop a comment down below and I would love to answer that for you. If you are looking for some more tips and tricks, definitely check out my travel checklist. I'm putting the link in the description below where I'm going to go over the top 10 things that you should be doing before you take your next trip. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.